see those celebrities and they're wearing those cool vintage tees and they look so, you know, fashionable. You put on a t-shirt, it just looks like a t-shirt. Well, I'm going to show you a few easy, quick little tricks that you can do to t-shirts to make them really fashionable and to make you look like, you know, you're cool. <laughs> So the first thing, and this is so easy, is you just, you know, for a woman, your waist probably comes in a little bit, and just to make it a little more fitted, I put a pin at the, you know, the smallest part of my waist where I want the t-shirt to come in the most. So I just took the pins and um, they left a little hole so I turned the t-shirt inside out and then re-pinned in the exact same place. So I'm going to use a serger. Um, if you are not a sewer you might not own a serger but you can just use a sewing machine and just use it on zigzag and then use it on the tightest zigzag that you can. You can do a straight stitch but I would suggest with a jersey the zigzag gives for some pulling. One pin, I can just sort of taper in and taper out. Success! The first tee I think came out great. It's, you know, fit at the waist, and I definitely feel a lot sexier, and like I'm not just kind of wearing a little boy's t shirt. So, now we're going to move on to the next one. I took this t-shirt in just the same way that I took the last t-shirt in. And I like mine really fitted, but, you know, you can go a little looser. Just so, like, take in a little bit so it has, you know, some of that feminine fit to it. So I'm going to put a pin where I feel comfortable having this let go to. And then I'm going to take it off and just cut down to there. And it's just an easy cut, just a raw edge. The great thing about Jersey is that it won't fray and you can just do a raw edge cut and it'll stay. And there you have it. I've turned this t-shirt into a really cool downtown look. So this is the last one and I actually like how this one fits even though it's not super tight in the waist. Because we're going to do a few different things to this t-shirt, I don't want it to be, you know, super tight and we're going to, you know, distress it and create some holes and might just be a little too much, so this one I'm going to keep a little looser, but then um, experiment with it in other ways. For this one, I'm going to cut off the sleeves a little bit, just give it a little more of a raw edge and not so long. So I'm gonna, I want to create a slit down here, so I'm just going to create a little bit of a V. Cut it open a little bit and then just pull it open and that gives it cut kind of like vintage, old, like you didn't just freshly cut it. And you can do them smaller too. They don't necessarily have to be those, those you know, long kind of slashes, but just little tiny holes like that. And just poking your, hand, your finger through will just give it a little bit of an older look and not freshly cut. And voila, here you have it. We've got our most distressed tee that we've done today. And we've, you know, just opened some holes, cut off the arms, really just getting rid of that really constricting um, collar from the original t-shirt. So, you know, there you go. You can go to the thrift store, to, you know, an old record store, and take tees and just really make them very fashionable and um, just an easy piece to throw on without, you know, looking like you're wearing your little brother's t-shirt.